Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through some architectural design guys. So in our previous lectures, we have gone through some architectural styles, right? So we discussed about a data driven, data flow architecture, call and return, layered approach and we also discussed about object oriented, right? Okay. So in this series, like around 4 to 5 lectures, we will be discussing about architectural designs. Okay. So, the, so there are popularly 4 architectural design guys. So basically these architectural designs are some kind of hybrid versions of the architectural styles which we have seen. Okay. Okay. So basically in this we will be seeing some examples guys like in real time examples. So in our first topic we will be discussing about some sensors example. So we will be discussing about the sensor example only in all the four diagrams. So we will be, we'll be having a clear idea. Okay. Okay. So the first type in this lecture we will be going is nothing but architectural design using context diagram guys i'm saying you one thing the four topics that i have collected the data is from textbook guys so i'm also not having that much clear clarity as i did find any proper reference so i just referred the textbook and i just wrote some points for our examination okay okay so architectural design using context diagram so we usually refer an architectural context diagram in order to diagramic diagrammatically represent the scenario in which a given software performs interacting with the various external components lying around its boundary so basically if you take a small component so assume that you did a small iot project guys okay so in that project you will be considering the exterior factors also right so if you are doing okay let us take this example only okay so this is for security home safe security home right this example so basically this example is having sensors so whenever you whenever someone says that what are the things that you need to do this project you will be saying that you need sensors and a board and a code somewhere you need to write so and you'll be saying that you need internet right and you need a house to do the all the things okay so basically these are all the environment or all the components that you need guys so by connecting all these components based on your requirement you'll be getting the architecture so here in architecture you will not do coding guys please remember that architecture doesn't mean coding so it, here you will be giving the clear overview of all the components and their connections so basically in detailed for this components you will be going in component design here it is architecture design so you will be just showing the connection whether the safe home product will be connecting directly in both ways or a single way transition messages will be going on like that okay so like that we will be drawing the diagrams okay okay so if you take the representation it will be in this way guys these are the common representations so basically the upper layer the top okay i just named them on the next page guys so the top, the first top is nothing but super oriented systems guys. These are called a super oriented systems. And this is nothing but this component is being used by this. So use this. Used by. Okay. Similarly, these two, it is a dual direction arrow. Means one uses the other. So that is the reason why it is called uses. And fourth is peer. Okay. So on the right side, you will be writing peers. Guys, on the four directions, you will be writing four different things guys. Okay. Peers. And fifth one depends on. So basically from here we are getting the output right. So and you are storing it here. So this is depending on this. So this the name of this arrow is nothing but depends on. And the sixth is nothing but subordinate system. Here it is super and here it is subordinate system. And the seventh one is also users. So basically here also it is a dual direction arrow. And the last is nothing but the target system. Okay. So these are the nine components or eight components you can say in this diagram. Okay. Okay. So now let us go through some points. So, so you know what is used by, what is use, depends on, use, actors, you know all these things, right? So let us now go through some unknown things. Okay. The first unknown thing will be super oriented system. So systems that use the target system as a part of some high level processing schema. So basically here we are using some other system to generate something. So if you notice here, okay so we are using some high level system or some other system and we are generating some output and we are showcasing it here right and we are transmitting it in our path right yes so that is nothing but super oriented and sub oriented is nothing but used by target systems and provide necessary data for processing so here they will be processing data and you will be getting the data here okay and these help in getting the output guys okay similarly peer level systems so interaction on the peer level system with the target system to produce the custom data to consume data and to produce data that will be using that those things guys okay if you take this is a small diagrammatic explanation okay okay so here we will be having the home product the safe home product will be having and this is our 
target functionality the diagram guys the architecture diagram so we'll be having internet based system which is connected in both way and survival surveillance uh, functionality so you'll be having surveillance cameras and everything right and you'll also have some sensors like door open any kind of motion sensors and all those sensors they'll be collecting the data from this guys and they will be using them and processing them and they'll be transferring them into the display outputs like home counter look what are the things the going on home counter or control panel what are the things around going on control panel okay so this is just an introduction guys because i'm also not having that much clarity i'm just giving you the theoretical explanation so that you can present it in your examination okay okay so in the next lecture we will be going through defining rko types guys so this is a hundred percent combination of different architectures okay so let us discuss about that in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching